Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to create business card mockup. This is the first and main video where I'll show you how to create material. In second video I'll show you light and render setup and composition tricks with cloner. First make cube then set sides to these values 8.9, 5.1, 0 0.1 and segment like 9 and 5. This way they will be almost square. Maybe even double them. And make some fillet like this. This is our card. I prepared this Batman business card design in Adobe Illustrator, this is just some text. The size of the artboard 89 on 51 millimeters. This is the standard size of the business card, you can make your own. Export our design as JPEG, make sure you select use artboards. We need high res, so make resolution bigger. 1200 is good, press OK. Open this JPEG in Photoshop. We need to invert colors. Press Ctrl I, save it as inverted copy. And we need to make another copy for normal map. Select Filter, 3D, Generate Normal Map. Here you can make it stand out or stand in. Play with settings if you want. I find this setting suitable for my case. Press OK and save it as a normal map copy. And last thing here, make some blurring like this. Save as a blurred copy. Now we have four pictures of business card. Original, inverted, normal map and blurred. Back to Cinema 4D. Create redshift camera and lights to see our card. Create plane for backdrop. Add redshift dome light. Add redshift area light for top light. Open redshift render view. Create material and drop it on our cube. Add side lights and front lights. Adjust size and intensity. Check out illumination here. Select all lights and background. I'll G to group them. That's our studio. Make them invisible in edit window. Now let's set up the material.
drag and drop here paper textures. You can find them in description. Diffuse connect to diffuse color. Roughness connect to reflection roughness. Add bump map. Connect normal map to input and connect bump map to bump input. Let's look closer. I create these textures from craft paper. I think this is better for this case, for imitating letterpress. That's why this texture is so intense. You can make other paper styles if you want. Adjust some lightning to make it look more natural. Next thing, drop here normal map and inverted version of our business card. Add a material blender and material. Paper material connect to base color. This material to layer color 1. And normal map to bump input. And inverted cut to layer blend color 1. That's our paint on the paper. So normal map add some volume for our letters. And in this material, you can choose color or material for letters. For black letters, you can choose plastic preset and make it black. Add some roughness. Edit settings here, select redshift, in GI select brute force in both, and 
and set to 156. It is already looking good, but I want some letterpress effect. Drop our blurred business card here. Drop displacement and connect this to texture map. and displacement to output. And nothing happens, that's because we need redshift object tag. Enable geometry override, check tessellation and displacement, Now something happens. Too big. Drop it down here. Find some numbers that suit you. I will choose something like that. Here you can see some problems. To fix this and the back side of the cut, we will do the next thing. Copy our material, rename it as a paper. Delete this. And delete this. Connect here. And another thing, change material to paper and set backlight to zero. And in this material too. Now make our cube editable, select polygon mode, drop new paper material on old material. You can see here on edges paper is stretched. That is because of displacement, it smooths the mesh. We need to select this. To avoid this clipping, press Ctrl D. And here change clipping to small. Now select this polygon. And holding Ctrl Shift, select this polygon. The same with this. and this, and this, now press U and F and with shift select this area and drop design material on this selection.
So now this problem on the edge disappears. Next we need to fix this stretching. Press ML and make loop path here and here. You can see that this corner is fixed now. Now we need to fix other corner too. Make loop here and here. This is our letterpress effect. We can adjust some details a little. Well, that's it for paper texture and letters. If you want to know how to make black paper, set light and render settings and make some compositions with Clona, you can watch another video about business cards. You can find them in description or on my channel.